<clears throat> Hi. So, I have another unboxing today that I have to do fast. Um, I've got a very messy desk that luckily you guys can't see, but one of the things on my desk is the new book that I am narrating. I'm very, very, very excited. I don't know when this will come out on Audible, but um, it's Making Your Office Work For You by Jan Yeager, PhD. Uh, I really like the author. She's a psychology PhD and she's done a lot of business books and it's sort of right up my alley because I was an employee assistance counselor for a long time. So uh, I'm very excited. I've done a couple of chapters that I still need to um, that I still need to go through and publish and uh, edit. And I've got many more chapters to read, but uh, that's my fun new project for the next month. And on, we came home from daycare today. My son's in daycare two days a week in the mornings, so I can actually get some work done. <laughs> and uh, we had our kiwi box. Yay, kiwi! And my son knows kiwi. He loves the actual kiwi little cartoon. And he wanted this right away, and so I made a bargain with him that he needed to take a nap, and then we could do the crafts in here. I kind of wanted to save this for Christmas, um, but he he knows it, and if he sees it on the porch, I'm not going to... First of all, I'm not going to try and claim it's a Christmas present if, um, if he's already seen it, but um, yeah, so... So he's going to get to open this today and probably do some of these. So the, today in this crate is Polar Expedition. It always has a little kiwi inside that says, Hi, let's discover together. Um, and this card that they have on the front tells you the two big crafts that are in here. And then on the back, they always have a little... Uh, drawing that you can color and then stand up the two main characters. There's always Kiwi and then there's always another main character for each box. It's also got a sticker that goes on. There's a map that you get the very first box that you get and you can add the sticker into the map um, each time you have a new activity that you complete. So it's very cute um, and I have to read this quick so it says how do polar bears stay warm? I have special fur that keeps me warm and dry. I really like this box because it's very uh, gender neutral. So uh, even though it's crafty stuff, which is very easy to have crafty stuff be very girly, my son loves it and it's always very, very gender neutral. So again, as I do with most of these craft unboxings, I'm gonna show you what's in the box. And then I am going to spend more time reading everything in case you're using this for relaxation and to help fall asleep. So, so you get a book in here. We have actually already read this book for nap time. That was part of the bargain. So we will go through this. I will read this later, but it also has a recipe for sugar cookies um, that are snowflake sugar cookies. It's got another uh, craft recommendation for borax crystal snowflakes. It's got a little coloring scene, and it's nice. It gives you little ideas of what to put in the scene. So these are all really nice. We save these. These will be activities that as he gets older, he'll be more interested in. Um, it's got a little discover snowflakes. And then it tells you how to make a salt dough pendant, which we might actually do because we actually have all of those things. Salt, water, flour, string, straw, cookie cutter. We have those things. Mostly we have the straw and things from other kiwi boxes. Then the last page always has uh, letters to Steve the Kiwi. And I like that they always give you um, extra little recommendations on things to do and they give you three recommendations on books um, so yeah we might check out I know the snowy day but I haven't read it in a long time maybe we should take that out of the library so that's little book and again I'll read that in detail later 
So the two activities are snowball toss and my polar window clings. So snowball toss is medium grown-up involvement and it's got a low messiness. Uh, moving and fine motor skills, creating, and moving and gross motor skills. So make a polar bear costume and play catch. So in here, you've got the eyes and little kind of Velcro things, I think. Um, you've got a little headband. So you're going to, what you're going to end up doing is making little ears. Actually, those may not be eyes. I think those were the ears. Um, and then it also comes with the mitt. You can actually see pretty much what it's going to look like. Um, and, and then it also comes with a little snowball, which is just basically a little ping pong ball. Um, and it comes with some extra crinkly paper. So we will get rid of the crinkly paper. But what you do is you take the mitts and you tie them together and then you stick these pieces on and then oh you take the little velcro pieces and you stick them on the ball so that you can throw with the mitts back and forth and the ball will stick to it. So I'll read this all in detail afterwards but just so you guys can see um, what's in that box. So this was the other thing in this box that we almost had a meltdown over because I wouldn't let him have it right away. So it's got a little kiwi window cling, which is so cute. And uh, he wanted to take it to bed with him. <laughs> so this is high messiness, medium grown-up involvement. So maybe we won't do this one today, maybe, or maybe we'll do it tonight uh, after we've gotten through everything we need to get through this afternoon. Create snowy clings for your window. So basically you're going to take, let's see, so we have dimensional paint, works on fabric, wood, glass, and more. So I assume this is like puffy paint. Paint is permanent on fabric. Okay, bright colors, non-toxic. I think, here, let's open this. I got an email from them that, yeah, it's like puffy paint. So I got an email for them that some people were having trouble with the puffy paint being like stuck in the container. So they said, you know, just stick a needle through the top and it should come out uh, fine. But they apologized and they were working on solving the problem. And um, so it's got puffy paint. It's got, oh, it's got cookie cutters. Let's see. I'm going to open this. And this may actually not be with any of, with either of these two things. It may be uh, for the extra um, crafts that they recommend in the book. Oh, that's really cute. So there's a little snowflake flake cookie cutter. They always kind of give you little extras, which I really appreciate. Um, there's glue which we actually don't have any glue, so um, that's a nice thing. And then it's got the little window cling patterns. So it's got little snowflake, polar bear, uh, another snowflake, a beluga whale, and a harp seal. Cute. So what are you going to do with these? So you're going to take a design you want to make and trace the lines with your 3D paint. Make sure there are no holes in the outer ring of paint. Okay. Fill the design in completely with glue. Leave your cling on the bag to dry for 24 hours. When the glue is clear and dry, peel it off the plastic. You can reuse the bag to make another design. Okay. Repeat to make more clings. Okay, so basically, basically, um, you are using the puffy paint to make a complete design. You're filling it in with glue so that it will uh, not just be the outline, that it'll be the whole uh, thing. Um, 
and the glue will just dry as a clear layer, I assume. And then you can peel it off and put it on your window. This will be something that mom does. Being three, he's, he's too little um, to be able to outline something with puppy paint. So he and I will kind of do it together. He'll pick out what he wants and he'll order me around and tell me what to do. And then I will end up doing it because that's a task that's a little too hard for him. But he's very excited by the Kiwi Kling. Um, and that's basically everything that came in this box. So you've got the window clings, you've got the uh, snowball fight um, with the with the snowball and the mitts. And then you have the extra little cookie cutter, which is just an extra for the, um, the crafts that are in the book. So also they always have drawings. You can't see this one very well, but they always have drawings inside the box so that you can open up the box and have them color the box too. So lots of different little activities. And now I'm going to finish reading everything that's in here. So if you just wanted to see what's in the Kiwi box for December 2013, you're done. If you want to use this as relaxation uh, and just me sort of spouting off random things I'm reading from the Kiwi box, then keep listening. So let's finish reading what was in the window clings because I read everything that's on there. Stick your designs to a window, make a fun polar bear scene with animals and snowflakes. Material fun. Your 3D paint can also be used on fabric for a fun project. Take your extra puffy paint and find a pair of socks. Lay the socks down and put dots of puffy paint on the bottoms of the feet. Allow the paint to dry and you have a cool new pair of non-slip socks. That's a great idea. You can draw designs or polar animals on the other parts of the socks for decoration. Everything you need to create your own window claims. I also really like the pictures they have. They're really nicely done. Uh, things to think about. Snowflakes are actually very small crystals made from drops of water. Try looking at one under a magnifying glass. Snowflakes are made when water trapped in clouds gets very cold and falls to the ground. Igloos are special houses that are made out of snow. Snow is packed tightly into blocks and then stacked to make a house. Even though the snow is cold, the inside of an igloo can actually be very warm. So that's the window clings. I really like the extra little cookie cutter. We'll talk about that more. Um, with the window clings that mommy will end up doing. And then let's read the snowball toss. Place two paws on top of each other. Tie the two pieces together through the first hole. Oh, they, it must all pop out. They must have little holes that pop out. They always make it really easy, so I don't think they'd expect me to cut the holes out. Lace the yarn through the holes. When you get to the last hole, tie a knot. Trim the ends of the yarn. Attach the sticky felt pads to make the front of the paw. Oh, those must have just sticky stuff already on the back. Stick triangles onto the back to make claws. Now make your second paw. Part two, make your polar bear ears. Fold the white felt ears around the headband. Stick on the black ear pieces. Put your headband on and pretend to be a polar bear. So they must be sticky too. The ears must be sticky. Part three, play snowball catch. Stick the Vel Velcro coins to your ball. Attach the coin so every side is scratchy. Now you're ready to play snowball catch. The Velcro coins will make the snowball stick to your mitten. Give a friend one of your mittens. How many passes can you get? How far away can you stand and still catch the ball? So there's the little picture. I like that you 
with the picture you can really clearly see what it's supposed to look like. Things to think about. Polar bears are the biggest bears in the world. They can grow to be as big as a car and have paws that can be as big as dinner plates. A grown polar bear can weigh as much as a classroom full of kids. Polar bears can have a special kind of hair called guard hairs. These special hairs stick together when the bear gets wet and keep the thick fur underneath protected. This lets polar bears stay warm even in freezing cold weather. There's that. So let's read the Explore book. Polar Expedition includes instructions for soft dough snowflakes. Today I am a long way from home. I'm in the Arctic. The Arctic is a snowy place at the top of the earth. It's very cold and icy. Even though it's very cold, lots of animals make the Arctic their home, like my friend Simon. Come on, let's explore the Arctic together. Steve the Kiwi explores the Arctic. Whoa, hey Simon, wait for me. Nice sliding, Steve. Thanks, Simon. The Arctic is fun. It's really different from home, though. It's so snowy and cold. The Arctic is cold, but it's an amazing place. Here, let me show you. In the Arctic summer, the sun stays up through most of the night. In winter, it stays dark almost all day. We have lots of glaciers. Glaciers are giant blocks of ice that move very slowly. Some glaciers are thousands of years old. Sometimes the sky lights up with beautiful colors. These are called the northern lights. And even though the Arctic is really cold, it's home to lots of animal friends like me. The Arctic really is an amazing place, Simon. Yep, you know what the best part is? You can always have a snowball fight. So there's a recipe for sugar cookies. And then you've got the little cookie cutter that came with it. So two and three fourth cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, frosting or powdered sugar, one cup of butter softened, half a cup of sugar, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Preheat the oven at 375. Stir together flour, baking soda, and baking powder in a small bowl. Oh, I like that this recipe doesn't have it sit in the fridge. In a large bowl, mix butter and sugar together until smooth. Beat in eggs and vanilla. Gradually blend in dry ingredients. Roll out dough. Use a cookie cutter to cut shapes. Place cookies onto cookie sheet. Bake 8 to 10 minutes in the oven or until golden. Leave on cookie sheets to cool for two minutes before moving to cool on wire racks. Decorate with frosting or dust with a snowy layer of powdered sugar. We may actually make pizzelles here soon. I don't know if they're pizzelles, it's pronounced pizzelles or pizzellis, but um, you have to have a special maker for them, and somebody bought me one as a wedding present, so I may make a bunch, I tend to make them around Christmas and Maybe I'll make them this weekend and take them to rehearsal so I don't eat, eat them all. Experiment. Borax crystal snowflakes. Make your own crystal snowflakes using a pipe cleaner, water, and borax. Watch as your crystals grow, grow and turn your pipe cleaner into a beautiful snowflake. I don't have pipe cleaners. You need scissors, string, borax. I don't think I have borax either. Jar, pencil, pipe cleaners. Cut pipe cleaners into three equal pieces. Twist your pipe cleaners into a snowflake shape. Tie your snowflake to the pencil with the string. Grown-up step. Fill your jar with boiling water. <laughs> Grown-up step. Scoop borax into the jar and stir. Grown-up step. Keep adding borax and stirring until the borax no longer dissolves. Put your snor snowflake in the jar so it doesn't touch the sides. Leave overnight. Remove your borax snowflake and admire the new crystals. That's cute. We won't do that. <laughs> um, yeah, the crafts that come in here, it's kind of hard enough for me to get to those, so I won't probably go out and buy borax and things like that. 
but it's a really cute idea and it'd be really cute for like a daycare or something. Um, sometimes you can see a white or colored circle around the sun. This is called a halo. A halo is created when sunlight shines through ice crystals that are high up in the sky. I did not know that. So here's a little drawing that you can do. And it's got, you know, it's always got this extra little information like Arctic foxes have great hearing. Harp seals can dive deep underwater. Grown-up polar bears are giant. Arctic hares live together in groups. Snowy owls have great eyesight. Discover snowflakes. A snowflake starts to form high in the sky. First, a speck of dust gets wet and freezes into an ice crystal. Because the ice crystal is heavier than air around it, it starts to fall. As the ice crystal falls, it touches tiny drops of water. These drops freeze on the ice crystal and make it grow. As the ice crystal grows, it creates a beautiful crystal pattern. This is a snowflake. Snowflakes change shape depending on how cold it is and how much water is in the air. They can be small and spiky or large and blocky. Almost all snowflakes have six sides, but no two are exactly the same. Do-it-yourself salt dough pendant. Make your own salt dough to play with. Make a gift tag or ornament. So what you'll need is salt, water, flour, string, straw, cookie cutter. Mix half a cup of salt, half a cup of water, and half a cup of flour in a large bowl. Flatten out the dough, cut shapes with cookie cutters, or mold your own. Use the straw to punch a hole in each shape. Dry in the oven on low heat for about 30 minutes or until hard. Pick a shape and put your string through the hole. Make a necklace, gift tag, or ornament. I wonder if that gets gross at a certain point. I mean, it's almost bread, so you'd think it might mold. I don't know. It must not, I would assume. So here are the letters to Steve the Kiwi. And the books they recommend. Oh, here's Snow is Magical and Temporary. Here are some of our favorite activities for exploring winter wonderlands, whether or not there's actually snow on the ground. I'm hoping there's snow on the ground at my in-laws because we rarely get snow here. Um, sometimes a little, and but it, it's not until later in the winter. So it'd be fun if there's snow at my in-laws for him to play with. Fill a jar with water and add glitter to make a snow globe. Cut out paper snowflakes. Make cocoa and cut out snowflake marshmallows. Freeze a block of ice and melt with food coloring and salt. Build a snowman or a sandman. Build a gingerbread house and cover it with icy frosting. I was very proud of myself we made gingerbread this year. We didn't make a gingerbread house, uh, but we made gingerbread men and that was fun. And then here's the top back on. I'm gonna put it all back like it came. So when he wakes up from his nap, we can start all over again and uh, hopefully start making some of these crafts. I like doing these videos because then I've actually read through the crafts before we sat, sit down to do them. So it actually makes them go a little bit faster, which is good with a three-year-old. So, I hope this was entertaining. I hope it helped to make you sleepy. And I hope um, if you're interested in Kiwi Crate, I'll put the information in my description.